Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing with you everything that my daughter Addison eats in a day. She is eight and a half months old, and so I'm just gonna walk you through her breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and show you what she eats. So this morning, I am making her some baby oatmeal for breakfast. So I'm just mixing up some of her formula, and this is the oatmeal that we use. And I just kind of keep adding the oatmeal until it's at a consistency that's like smooth. And really every day is different in terms of what she eats. It just kind of depends on what I have on hand, what I have prepped, and that sort of thing. So now I'm just adding in some of a banana, like about half, um, and mashing that up into her oatmeal. I'll usually like put apples in her oatmeal or whatever I have on hand, like I said. And if I look like I'm having a hard time feeding her, it is because I am actually not left-handed. I am right-handed, but I'm holding the camera with my right hand, so I look like I'm kind of struggling to feed her well. <laughs> This high chair toy is so cool. It was actually Brody's when he was a baby and I just recently got it out for Addison and she loves it. I think it's so cute. I bought it at Bye Bye Baby, um, like I said, a few years ago. Addison has also been doing so well drinking out of her Miracle 360 cup, drinking her water with her meals. Um, I've been offering it to her probably like with most of her meals since she was six months since she started on solids and it took her a little while to figure out how to actually get water out but as you can see she's blowing water out of her mouth um she thinks that's funny but she's finally figured it out it's just like one day it clicked and now when she um, holds it by the handles and stuff she just looks so big it's crazy and now I'm beginning to prep for Addison's lunch. It's been a little bit of time since her breakfast. Um, she's still napping when I started prepping some food for her lunch. So I'm just peeling some sweet potatoes um, and I, you'll see I'm gonna peel an apple as well. And she still isn't able to break down the peel well on an apple, so I just go ahead and take it off before I steam her food. And now I'm just gonna chop up the apple and the sweet potato into small little pieces. Um, I just, you can always cut it after they're steamed, but I just chop it up kind of small so that they steam really fast and get nice and soft. Self. 
And I don't really set the steamer for a specific time. I just turn it on and then after a little bit, I walk by and just check it to make sure they're really soft. And if they are, then they're good to go. So now I am opening up an avocado and I'm gonna just put a little bit of that in a bowl for her and mash it up. She doesn't really like avocado on its own, but it's such good healthy fats that I like to offer it to her. So usually I'll mash it up with like a banana. Um, today I'm just mashing it up with some of the apples that I just steamed since she already had a banana with her breakfast. And you can see she has some of her sweet potatoes on her tray. I just gave her some little small pieces to try to pick up and just to get practice at. They're so soft that they would kind of just mash in her hands. And she doesn't really have the pincher grasp yet very well. So she, um, you know, usually will palm it and then it just sort of gets lost in her hand. So I help feed her still, um, but it's good for her to practice and try to get it figured out. And now I am giving her some of the little apple pieces as well. I don't always give her this much variety with just one meal, but since it was all prepped and cooked, I just thought I would give her some different options. And these are some of the pouches that I buy for her just to have on hand if I don't have food prepped or if I need to go to the store or whatever. I'm definitely not um, against store-bought food or anything like that, if, especially if you're on the go, it's just so much easier. She also likes those puffs too, uh, and I think they're just good for them to snack on and that kind of thing. And you can see here, there's a good amount of food left over from what I prepped today. I just prepped one sweet potato and one apple, and it really does go a long way for a young baby. Here you can see I'm trying to work with Addison on her baby sign language for more and all done. Uh, I taught Brody this and it was so cute when he was able to get it figured out and do it. So I just kind of started doing that with Addison as well. Now a little bit more time has gone by and it's time for Addison's dinner. So before this, I didn't show it, but I prepped some hard boiled eggs. I just boiled them up. Uh, pretty simply they're so easy to make and I'm just pulling the yolks out for her I still haven't given her egg whites yet so I'm just kind of mashing up the yolks and I'll just feed it to her with a spoon So now I'm just putting a few peas on her tray for her to kind of try to pick up and feed herself. 
This is still challenging for her. Um, same thing like what I said earlier, but I think it's good for her. She also doesn't really like peas. She didn't love them in a pureed form and she doesn't really like them whole when I help her actually get it in her mouth. And she usually will spit it out or just make a crazy face. But someone once told me that it takes a baby, especially a toddler too, to really like a lot of times of trying a food to figure out if they actually like it. So it's best to just continue to offer it even if they seem like they really hate it. And maybe one day it'll just click for them. You never know. So now I'm just feeding Addison some of the leftover apple and avocado mixture from her lunch. She actually didn't seem to like be loving it for her lunch. She ate more of the sweet potatoes and apples. So I just threw it in a container and now I'm offering it to her with her dinner. And with dinner, she loved it so much more. So that right there is just a prime example. Maybe she just wasn't in the mood for it for her lunch. It's so funny. And now I'm just giving her a little bit more of the little pieces of apples and sweet potatoes. Um, she's doing so well transitioning from purees to table foods. Um, really how I did it and how I did it with Brody as well. Um, both of my kids were pretty sensitive to textures uh, from the beginning. And so what I did was started them on purees and then as I felt like they were handling that pretty well, I began cooking them food like sweet potatoes, apples, different things, baking them, steaming them, whatever would make them really soft and mashing them to like a chunky texture. Same thing with like a banana. I just don't mash it very fine so that they begin to learn how to you know, navigate the texture and the chunkiness and that kind of thing. And now I can hand her these small little cubes in her mouth and she never gagged one time. So that was like the best way for me to transition my kids from purees to table foods, chunkier foods, that kind of thing. And now Addison's just having some water. We are saying all done again in baby sign language. And that is everything for this video. Hopefully if you have a young baby like mine, this will give you some ideas of ways to prep their food or make them food. And uh, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.